Before the landing, we had a combination of imagination and animation to picture the surface of a comet. Hollywood is good, but Rosetta is better. The lander completed its primary science mission. Rosetta had been traveling in space towards a comet called 67P churyumov gerasimenko for 10 years. There was only a little way to go now, and the scientists back home would fit all these pieces together like a jigsaw puzzle to learn about how comets work. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Then the surprises began. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. At the Daily News, oxygen found in comet challenges solar system theories. First of all, their solar system formation theories are totally bunk. The accretion disk model where, like, gas and dust get too heavy and zero gravity and collapse upon itself, creating the Earth, the Sun, the Moon, Jupiter, horses, dogs, cars, people, beer, boobies. That's stupid, man. But you can't tell science that because they make a lot of money off of it. So, was it saying? Oh, yeah, they found oxygen on a comet. Asterisk. I mean, I don't know. What if there was oxygen on the moon? What if there was oxygen on Mercury? What if there was oxygen on Mars? What if there was oxygen out of space? And science just never told us. You know, they were like, they don't need to know that. Let's keep that a secret. And that way, science can be a secret society. And we will be much smarter than everybody else. And we can tell them a bunch of bullshit and then laugh at them. I know, that was a hypothetical, and I was just thinking out loud. It had nothing to do with the article. Sometimes I think I'm mad at modern science, and I don't know why, because they're perfect. Don't believe me? Just ask them. Berlin. Scientists say they have detected significant amounts of molecular oxygen coming out of a comet. An unexpected find that may have implications for the search for alien life and understanding how the solar system formed. Because science goes, nope, we figured it out, and this is the way it is. If you don't agree, you're a dumbass. Maybe I'm too angry to be doing this. So I'll flip a coin in my mind. Heads, oxygen atoms are abundant through the universe. There you go. See, I said that a while ago. They're dropping a hint. Oxygen is like water, and it's everywhere. But because they react very easily with other elements, they are rarely found in the molecular form known as O2. Scientists had previously assumed that almost all oxygen in a comet would come in the form of water, carbon monoxide, or carbon dioxide. All right, first of all, let me stop you, science. And scientists, you shouldn't assume, because when you do, it makes an ass out of you and me. All right, now that we've learned something new, let's move on. But using instruments aboard the European spacecraft Rosetta, researchers were able to prove the existence of large amounts of O2 in the gas cloud, or coma, from the comet named 67P churyumov jera Semenko, a.k.a. also known as Comet $3 Bill. Fake-ass space rock. But not a lot of people use that nickname, so I'd stick with 67P if you don't want to get made fun of at parties. It's the most surprising discovery we have made so far on 67P, because oxygen was not among the molecules expected in a cometary coma. Said Catherine Altwag, who co-authored the study published Wednesday in the journal Nature. Andre Belair, a research fellow at the University of Michigan who contributed to the study, said the constant level of molecular oxygen observed in the gas cloud indicates it was trapped before the comet formed and has remained there, untouched since the early days of the solar system some 4.6 billion years ago. Altwag said the process by which the molecular oxygen got into the comet, challenges some theories about how the solar system was formed, theories that presume all matter was heated and then cooled. Awesome. Science, once again, has just as proven its own theory. That is one of the reasons I do love science, though sometimes we argue and fight. Such a process would have resulted in the loss of molecular oxygen. She said the finding could also have implications for the hunt for life on other planets. Hey, that's what she said. Really? Worst that's what she said joke ever. Many scientists have assumed that the presence of oxygen and methane is a good indication of life. But those molecules are a byproduct of primitive life forms. I don't like you, Comet $3 Bill. But the abundance of both on Comet 67P suggests that those two molecules alone shouldn't automatically be taken as evidence of life, said Altweg. Sarah Seeger, a professor of planetary science at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, who wasn't involved in the research, said... The findings were a wake-up call because O2 has long been at the top of the list of molecules sought by scientists hoping to find evidence of life on other planets. 
The findings will add fuel to the fire for an already ignited debate about O2's false positive scenarios, she added. So great, Comet $3 bill has disrupted science solar formation theories once again. So I guess we can take that as a positive and breathe a sigh of relief that oxygen is in outer space, right? Because if that comet is spewing oxygen into outer space, that means there is some oxygen in outer space. So my crazy theory at the beginning of this episode ain't that crazy. Are you following me? Okay, great. I said too much, as usual, and I haven't been funny enough. For that, I apologize. I seem to be in a funny slump. So I shall now go put on clown pants and do the Humpty Dance in traffic. Don't worry, I'm fast. God bless everyone. This has been your Commentary Science Oxygen Update.